Hello everyone, my name is Mel from Ronnie and Mel, and here on this channel, we help you to find God and walk with Jesus in your everyday life. So if that's something you need, consider subscribing. So, if you did not know, last week we actually had a video taken down. Yes, that's the first time that that has ever happened to us, and we were very surprised. <laughs> but. The first thing that I want you guys to know is that we do actually have a place where you guys can watch it. We were able to upload it to this other site and we were able to put it on our website. So if you didn't get to watch this video, then you can find the link to it down in the description below. I'll probably even pin it in a comment at the top. So you can find the link, you can go watch it, or you can go to our blog on our website and you'll be able to find it in an article there. We embedded it right there. So. That is that. Second thing is we've kind of anticipated that things like this could happen. I mean, think about it. We're Christians. We, we talk about our faith and who knows what will happen in the world that could prevent that. But, you know, so we've actually set it up to where we have an email list. And the whole reason that we even have an email list, if you're on it, you know, we don't even email people almost ever but it's so that in case something does happen and we're completely cut off to communicate with all of you guys, there's still a way for us to reach out to you guys, our audience, get the word of God to you, get teachings to you, whatever it is. That's what our email list is for. So I'll put another link down to that down in the description or somewhere else. You can also find it on our website just so that we do have your email just in case something like this were to happen on a much bigger scale. And Thirdly, just because this happened on our YouTube channel, this does not mean we're going anywhere. We're not moving to some other platform. No, we love being here on YouTube. And I mean, we're grateful for it. Think about it. We would not be connected with you right here today had we not had this YouTube channel, you know? And I think that it's still such a great place to be because the goal of our channel is to help people find God. There's a lot of those people that need to find God and to help you walk with Jesus in your everyday life. And there's a lot of those people here on YouTube too. So we're not going anywhere. You know, we're not bummed at YouTube by any means. So real quick, I'll just give you a little update of just kind of what happened. Our video did get taken down and it was a little bit disheartening just because the reason that they said that they took it down, if you actually watch our video, it has nothing to do with the reason that they took it down. And so that was a little bit disheartening because we felt like it was sort of like wrongfully taken down. And I mean, they have a freedom to do whatever they want to do. And then the second thing that was disheartening was there were a ton of other videos by Christian YouTubers with the same exact title that they were somehow allowed to talk about it and do almost the same video. And so that was just confusing of, okay, I understand maybe why you took our video down, not really, but like, but I just don't know why they can do the exact same thing that we weren't doing. So that was a little bit confusing too. And I think the third thing that was just disheartening was we got like an onslaught of hate email, of hate DMs, of unfollows, just based on what people assumed the video was gonna be about, but they hadn't even actually watched the video. So everything that I was getting accused of in these emails and in these messages, they were accusing me of the exact opposite of what I actually did in the video. And had they just watched the video, they would have been like, oh, thank you. <laughs> like, and so that was just so disheartening that, I don't know, I just feel like us in the church, we should be different. Like we should be different than the cancel culture that just assumes people are a certain way or just assumes something about someone and then doesn't like them. Like we, we're supposed to live by truth and reality. And if we're accusing people of, of doing things when we don't actually even know the truth of what we're accusing them of, I just, it just was sort of sad to me to see that kind of thing happening in the body of believers, but it's fine either way. You guys are all still here and we are glad for it. We're glad to have whoever is here with us. And so if you didn't get to watch the video, I just encourage you to, if you were assuming it was about something that it wasn't about, you know, just hear it out. Because I think that was the thing was, you know, our video, it was posed as a question because 
we get that exact question. I'm not even going to say it on this video so this video doesn't get blocked. But we get that exact question with those exact nine words at least once a week from somebody. Is this thing the thing? <laughs> And so the title of the video was just the question that we get. It wasn't inferring anything. It wasn't making any kind of a statement. It was just posing the question. And then in the video, I answer the question and it's probably different than what you would assume. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure to watch it. Hopefully it's, you know, edifying to you. Hopefully it just encourages your heart. Hopefully it, it just helps bring unity because that's really what this all was about, to alleviate fear, to get us back to what the Bible says, to get us back to clinging to Jesus and trusting him and knowing that it's all about him. So I love you guys. I'll leave all those links down below and yeah, we'll just keep moving forward. You know, we don't know what the future holds, but we know that Jesus has our future, you know, and so we don't have to be scared as Christians going forward, we don't have to feel, you know, victimized from, you know, big platforms. Like, no, you know, these things are going to happen. But I actually did a post on Instagram. I'll put the little quote here that, you know, the gospel is not dependent on freedom of speech. And yes, it's a lot easier to have freedom of speech. Yes, it's fair that way to have freedom of speech. But I mean, you look at the life of Jesus, you look at the life of the apostles, and they didn't have freedom of speech. They didn't have the fair, you know, way that was in favor of them. And so they had to, you know, preach the gospel in times that people didn't want to hear it and didn't want them to speak it. And they were put in jail, they were killed, all sorts of different things. And so we should not be discouraged when the same thing happens to us. We should, as Christians, desire that the darker it gets, the brighter that we shine and that we can preach the gospel with our words as much as we can. Maybe it's different avenues, maybe it's to our neighbor, to people at work. And we can preach the gospel by the way that we love and the way that we represent Christ to those around us. And so be encouraged, friends. Jesus is still on the throne. We still love him. And there are lots of people who are coming to know him. And it's encouraging. So I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.